Hi, welcome to the ninth edition of the Healthy Stress Doctor podcast. I'm your host for the podcast, Dr. Rich Blana. In this edition, we're going to focus on the relationship between acceptance and commitment therapy and relational frame theory, also known as RFT. RFT found that when you learn something, you learn it in relation to other things that are going on in that specific time and place. And this also could do with stressful learning. In other words, the context of your learning is as important as the content of your learning. For example, your current stressful thoughts are related to their original frames of reference, what RFT calls their original relational frames. And these relational frames are from your past, and they were created when you're exposed to the original stressor or something that is similar to it. The way you perceive your current potential stressor is influenced by your brain's ability to go back and use these past relational frames to uh, bring them into the future and assess your current threat that's posed by this potential stressor. In addition, your mind can carry this one step further and use the same information to actually jump ahead and project it into the future. And when it does this, it's capable of projecting it into infinite uh, possible scenarios and outcomes involving this potential stressor and ones that are similar to it. Your mind's ability to use the past and the present and then jump into the future and anticipate threat is really the basis for a lot of your stress, your anxiety, and your worry. RFT found that your mind is really a 24-7 thinking and feeling machine that never shuts down. It's constantly thinking and feeling and uh, dealing with this in, in the context of your past relational frames. Like a computer, your brain is constantly processing information and running its programs. And the programs that your mind runs are your thoughts, your feelings, your personal scripts, and your, your mental images. Your brain, like your computer, can run multiple programs at the same time. So you can have thoughts going, feelings going, personal scripts going, and mental images going all at the same time, similar to the way your computer runs multiple programs. And like viruses that invade your computer's processing, uh, unhelpful thinking, illogical thinking can invade your brain's processing and interfere with the way you perceive a potential stressor in the present. So when this happens, when your programs get invaded by illogical thoughts and, and negative self-talk, uh, it actually makes your brain process information less efficiently. And when this happens, you're more likely to get stressed. You've probably noticed that when you're stressed, you really don't think very clearly. And like your computer, sometimes you literally freeze up and you get stuck. And if you remember from last month, that's what ACT is all about. ACT is designed to help you get unstuck. Next month, we'll get into these unhelpful thoughts, emotions, personal scripts, and mental images in more detail. Uh, go to this month's newsletter for a quick tip on how to deal with the way your mind processes unhelpful thoughts and feelings. I look forward to you uh, tuning in next month for podcast number 10. Thanks.